gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Buck-Totem Bertram. And this is a new little segment I've decided to add to my channel. I had toyed with several names for it, ranging from boring things like Gaming News, The News of the Day, Gaming This Week, Life and Times of an Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, but nothing seems to have stuck so far, so we'll see what I decide to call it in the little thumbnail thing. So, if you have any suggestions, please feel free to put them down below. But basically, in this little section, I'm going to try and do it every single Friday. I'm going to run down some of the news of the week. Uh, I'm not going to tell you everything, because that's what we have the internet for. Yes. But I'm just going to run through a few things that I think might be either interesting and or funny to discuss. Basically, whatever's going to make me look the best, shall we say. I might even tell you some of the pickups I've done for the week, uh, some of the reviews that are maybe upcoming, etc, etc. So, we're not going to waste too much time in this introduction. What? No, Bertram, I don't care if you have to go to the bathroom. You should have gone before we started the video. So, Let's start with the first item on today's agenda. Apparently, Platinum Games have said their April Fool's Day game, Sol Cresta. Isn't that a lovely word to say, Cresta? Just rolls off the tongue. Yes, anyway, Platinum Games So Cresta is in fact a real video game. Who the hell knew? And not only that, but apparently it's coming out this year, so... Yes, as some of you may or may not be aware, Platinum Games is one of my favourite game developers. That's right, one of my favourite game developers. So anything that they put out, I jump on faster than Kevin Spacey at a Boy Scouts meeting. Um... I hope that joke doesn't get me uh, unmonetized. Wait a minute, I'm not monetized on YouTube. Oh well, I can say whatever the hell I want. Anyway, so yes, Platinum Games, fantastic developer. Look out for Sue Cresta this year. Item number two. Oh yes, the Suicide Squad trailer. I should have said I'm not going to focus just on video games. I'll talk about comic book things, etc, etc, other things that take my fancy, shall we say. So yes, the new Suicide Squad trailer from James Gunn. Very controversial, gentlemen. <laughs> Though I'm sure when I'm rich and famous, some of these videos might come back to haunt me. But anyway, James Gunn, Guardians of the Galaxy, Slither, other things. Well, yes, what do I think? Um, well, uh, yeah, I, I think it looks fun. I think it looks good. I, I personally liked the first Suicide Squad movie. Yes, I know, I know. But, um, yes, it, it looks fun. There's, a, there's a, apparently a giant uh, starfish, jellyfish thing in it. You know, still got Harley and a CGI shark voiced by Sylvester Stallone. There's a sentence I never thought I would ever say, but yes, looks a lot of fun. Look out for it. Uh, yes, Outriders. Yes, my Outriders review will be coming today, ladies and gentlemen. So you can look out for that later on, but I'll give you all my thoughts on Outriders. And no, Outriders is nothing in common with dogging. Because it sounds out, right, outside, riding, never mind. I could have also said there, Outriders has nothing in common with riding your bike. But uh, a joke doesn't really work if you use one. Anyway, never mind. 
I'm rambling here, as I knew I would. Do remember, this is the first time I've tried this. And uh, I don't know how I'm going to edit this video down. I don't know how long it will be. I don't know how successful it will be. I don't know if I'll survive until the end of the video. I may have a heart attack at any moment because I do a lot of shouting, as you can guess. A lot of mannerisms, a lot of gesturing with my hand, which I'm still continuing to do. But uh, let's move on to the next point. Yes! Uncharted Movie Delay. This is one of several movie delays that I've noticed happening this week. So the Uncharted movie is now not coming out until February the 18th, 2022. When it was supposed to come out this year. And I'm very bloody mad. Uncharted is one of my favorite video games. Um, and I'm hoping the movie will... What's the word I'm looking for? Not be shit like some of the other video game movies. Granted, it has Tom Holland in it, who I think is a little bit young to play Nathan Drake, but I have been wrong before. I'm looking at you, Heath Ledger. Recently deceased. No, not recently. He's been dead for like 13 years. Anyway, when Heath Ledger was first announced as the Joker, I said, Oh my God, that's the worst casting choice I've ever heard. And, uh, <clears throat> I was wrong. So, let's see how Tom Holland does. Uh, what are the other movie delays? I've taken notes yet. Yes, the Mortal Kombat movie. Damn you. Uh, has now been pushed from, I think it was April 12th. But anyway, now it's coming out on April 23rd, so... You'll get right on that. I myself am a massive fan of the original Mortal Kombat movie that came out in the 1990s when I was slightly younger and thinner and better looking and popular than I am now. Uh, what's this other movie? Oh yes, of course! Resident Evil! Welcome to Raccoon City! Supposed to come out in September this year. Now I'm not coming out till November. Damn you! Whatever reason it is, you're delayed. And uh, one last movie delay that I can talk about. Venom. Let there be carnage. Sequel to Venom. Just Venom. Starring Tom Hardy. Lovely man. Great ass. Now coming out on September the 24th, so get right on that when it comes out. So, now I've covered movie delays, so let's talk about the next item on the agenda. Final Fantasy XIV PlayStation 5 Beta on April the 13th. Now, I'm a gigantic Final Fantasy fan. I maybe don't love Final Fantasy XIV quite as much as some other people do. I'm more a fan of the mainline titles. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing them very soon. Look out for it. Uh, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more, say no more. Uh, but yes, uh, if you have a PlayStation 5 and you want to uh, play Final Fantasy XIV on your PlayStation 5, then the beta starts on April the 13th, and I have absolutely no idea who's allowed to play the beta, and also why I forgot to breathe when I was saying that last sentence. So anyway, Earth Defense Force World Brothers, yes. Earth Defense Force games, a lot of fun, shooting insects, rather like, uh, Starship Troopers. This one has a kind of Lego pixelated look to it, which I'm not a fan of. I think uh, pixelated graphics belong in the 1990s, burning in hell, but uh, I'm often wrong with these things. I'll give it a bash. May 27th that comes out, so you put that in your diary. Uh, next, the Maneater DLC. Uh, what's it called? Truth Quest comes out this summer. Man Eater, as you're probably aware, I've already reviewed on my channel. Lots of fun. Jaws with attitudes. No. Lots of fun. Deep Blue Sea. Need I say more? 
Nothing in common with Deep Blue Sea, because those were different types of sharks. But anyway, uh, look out for that when it comes out. Uh, I'll be downloading it the second it releases. And I may even review it if there's enough content to review it. Oh yes, next item. This is very exciting. Troy Baker will be reprising the role of the Joker in the upcoming Batman animated movie, The Long Halloween. Now, I've not had the chance yet to review Batman Arkham Origins, uh, and I'm going to get into trouble when I say this next section, but uh, Batman Arkham Origins is not only my favourite in the Arkham series, I'm sorry Arkham City, please don't beat me up, uh, yes, it's not only my favourite in the series, but, um, I think Troy Baker, oh dear, is a better Joker, oh dear, than Mark Hamill. Yes, I do, I do, I do, it's a rather controversial choice, but, um, what can I say? I love Troy Baker, I don't know if you can see the picture here. Uh, no you can't, but up here I have a picture of Troy Baker, covered in lipstick. Not my lipstick, of course. <coughs> anyway, Troy Baker, love him as the Joker, love him as a voice actor. If you're watching this, Troy, um, let me be in your next video game that you do a voice for. Yes. Um, next, Genshin Impact, game I loved, free to play game on PlayStation 4 is getting a 4K patch for the PlayStation 5, so check that out. I have no idea how long this video is going on. I'm going to get through it as much, uh, as, as much, as much, as much, uh, as quickly as I can. Item number, what item was that? Who cares, lost count. Uh, YouTube is removing dislike numbers. And as you can imagine, that's uh, quite a relief for me because, um, I don't want to say I get lots of dislikes on my videos, but um, it would be good if we could just hide the numbers, you know. That way I don't have to cry myself to sleep at night. Anyway, come at that. Ah yes, Deliver Us the Moon, coming out for PlayStation 5 this year. I don't really have to say more about that. Good game on PlayStation 4, Xbox, if you've already played it. Ah, yes, this is very exciting. Now, I'll tell you a little story, very quickly. When I was a child, back in the 1880s, or whatever, uh, maybe in the 1980s, I can't remember, uh, I loved animated shows. Masters of the Universe. Uh, later on, Biker Mice from Mars. Uh, what else was that? Mask, Transformers. Fantastic! And what have they all got in common? Apart from Mask, I think. They've all had film versions. But there is one animated show I've been saying for decades, decades now, should have a film version. And thankfully, I found a magic lamp. I robbed said magic lamp. No, Bertram, I didn't rob the genie. Not since that encounter with Bill Smith went so badly. Anyway, I rubbed the magic lamp, and I made a wish. And I said, please, please give me a movie version of Thundercats. And guess what is happening? We are finally getting a movie version of Thundercats. Not only that, but it's going to be directed by Adam Wingard, who made two, not one, but two of my favourite horror films of the last ten or so years. Those films being The Guest, starring the hunky Dan Stevens, and Your Next, starring Barbara Crampton. If you know who Barbara Crampton is, give yourself a pat on the back. Love the woman. If you're watching this, Barbara, is your my pair? You're not French. Why am I trying to speak French? Anyway, Adam Wingard making Thundercats movie. Very exciting news indeed. And you can bet your ass I'll be covering it every step of the way. Next, finally, and leastly. That's not a phrase, but it's the best I came up with. We have a new patch for Cyberpunk 2077. Which, uh, if you've watched my review, you know I was a mess. 
massive fan of that game. I'm sorry, did I say massive fan? I meant, um, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. It was a piece of garbage. It was unfinished. It was buggy. It was glitchy. Granted, I did play it on console, so... You PC gamers, just you back the hell off, okay? Coming at me, telling me, you know, I'm supposed to play it on PC or whatever. I don't play on PC! I play with PC! That makes no sense! I'm not PC! I'm very un-PC! That's where I should have went with that. Anyway, there's a new patch. I don't care. If you care, download it, and you can tell me how the game is. Finally! My god, I bet this video's gone on for a long time. Finally, we have my pickups for the week. So, Outriders, which I'll be reviewing later today. It Takes Two, which unfortunately I've not had a chance to play yet because you have to play it online, you can't match make, and uh, I have no friends. We have, oh this is an exciting one, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, which I had to import from Japan because there is no physical release for PlayStation 4 over here. So, rather exciting, I'll be reviewing that. I've already played it on the Nintendo Switch and the PS4, but I love having me some physical copies. And finally, this is a pretty exciting one, we have The Mummy. Demastered, which is not available in physical edition. I have no idea how the glare is on this camera. But anyway, The Mummy, if you can read it, Demastered, uh, from Limited Run Games. Yes, boxed copy, cost a lot of money. If anyone wants to uh, subsidize the cost of this game, then uh, send me all your money. And that was the pickup spawn of the week. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little segment of mine. I hope it wasn't too manic, madcap, on this uh, Friday afternoon or whatever time it is, whenever you are in the world. I'm still gesturing with my hands, Bertram. I really need to see someone about that. I'm, I'm out of control. I'm going to start dancing in a minute. Anyway, no, I swear I'm not on drugs. Uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little section. I'm going to try and do this every single Friday, where I'll cover the news, cover my pickups, throw in some terrible jokes, and uh, I'm sure you'll find it very amusing. So, thank you for watching, dear viewer. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, bell button thingy. Please do. I need more subscribers. I need more people watching these videos. Because how do I know if I'm absolutely terrible or just shit? Unless you tell me as such. Though I personally think I'm the best uh, YouTuber on this bloody channel, but that's just my opinion. Don't take my word for it. Shut up, Bertram. And uh, until next time, remember the most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Yes! I have no idea why I'm singing at the end of the video. I'm just going to stop the camera now. Are you still here? Go away! I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously. Piss off. Be gone. Au revoir. A be de Bye. What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Vacate this space! Hit the cross at the top of the screen! The video is done! It's over! It's finito! It's caputo!